Good day, doctor. My name is Simon Yi. Metric number is two seven seven nine four zero. I will start today's presentation. First is, uh, B two B e commerce is mean that the transaction good or services between business through the online platform. The three top key player in the B two B market industry is Alibaba, Amazon, and B two W. The importance of the online platform for B two B is increased sales. Expand visibility and cost saving. The future trend in the B two B e commerce is artificial intelligence, mobile commercial, and increased same social commerce. Uh, next, I will continue. Uh, the information for our company, Aroma Alchemy is a business that focus on fragrances. Production. The name Aroma Alchemy combining the word to convert a unique meaning of Maxine's credit and transformation. Our company to provide the high quality and more choice of perfume to meet the need of different flavor, include the age, uh, income, and difference. Preference. Our mission is to empower empower every person with confidence, charm, and intelligence. We our business, uh, we start our business in the form of physical store to gain the local client. At the same time, we also need to form an online shop on the platform Alibaba to gain the world real client from the each. Country. Next is our target market of business is Versailles. The reason why I chose the Versailles because the business networking of Versailles can help us sell our product to other regions. Uh, the next reason is Versailles can build can help us build a good reputation with faster and occupy more market share. The second target market is Retina. We choose the retina because uh, it can direct sell the product to consumer. It means that here can use their inference to recommendation their customer use our product. Next, I will present the market size and go production. The building market is predicted to grow at the project rate of 6% annuality and reach roughly 580% by 2027. Building industry project it to be the high product. It means we focus on uh, customized product like perfumes. Uh, according to my according to the article for 42% of response across China, French, Germany, Italy, United Kingdom, and United States. The, the customer more enjoy to try new brand. It means that our company have more opportunity to expand our business to those country. Hi everyone, my name is Chiu Hui Chin, number matrix 281758. So now I would like to present the platform selector from Aroma Alchemy. Alibaba is one of the platform selector because Alibaba is a well-known worldwide e-commerce behavior best for its B2B platform. So Alibaba can assist us in expanding the market for our perfume since it has over 26 million buyers are active on the Alibaba worldwide. So Alibaba gives us the chance to establish connection with distributor and retailer across the global. The next platform is Tencent. Tencent is expected to have the initial impact of increasing the brand visibility, engagement, and opening access to the powerful Chinese market. Furthermore, Amazon are chosen as one of the selling platforms since it is the world's largest online retailer. Even though Amazon is a B2C company, Amazon also offers options for B2B transactions throughout Amazon business, providing flexibility for Aroma Alchemy's diverse target market. The last platform is Global Sources. Global Sources is a B2B channel based on Hong Kong. The track events that are included on the platform make networking and cooperation easier, providing Aroma Alchemy with a complete solution for conducting international business and looking for the joint venture outside of its present market. 
Aroma Alchemy has numerous competitive advantage like design packaging, promotion, quality, and benefit of use. The first one is design packaging. Aroma Alchemy has put more effort into the packaging since there no unique packaging will advertise the product itself. Therefore, every perfume is housed in the exquisite, carefully crafted packaging that captures the individuality of scenes within. Furthermore, promotion. Aroma Alchemy leverage partnership, social media influencers, and beauty bloggers to generate buzz about their unisex perfume. By using this strategy, the perfume will become more well known locally and draw in more customers. Moreover, Aroma Alchemy competitive advantage comes primarily from quality. We ensure that every perfume satisfies the highest standard of perfection by sourcing the finest and most unique components for its creation. And every perfume is under the guidance of expert perfumers. Lastly, benefit of use. Flexibility is one of the key advantages of unisex perfume because they are typically less orally feminine and muscular and have a more neutral perfume characters. Unisex perfumes are well liked by a broad spectrum of people and work well for both formal and informal settings. The next one is supply chain management of Aroma Alchemy. The first step in the supply chain management is the supplier's identification and selection. In the beginning, we establish contract with reliable Chinese suppliers to get a wide variety of ingredients needed to create our distinctive perfume. Next, we also collaborate with Chinese manufacturer of glass bottles and provider of packaging suppliers such as Star Sing Glass Bottle due to their unique design and globally acclaimed catalog. Next, we also undertake extensive risk evaluation and create backup plans in order to guarantee the robustness of our procurement procedure. There are five steps in procurement process. The first step is requisitioning, which involves submitting requests for the necessary components. The requisition provides comprehensive details, including the quantity of materials required, quality standard, and delivery schedule. The second step is planning and scheduling. The important task in this step is identifying possible suppliers, assessing their qualifications, scheduling the delivery dates to coincide with production schedule and take care of any logistic issue. The third step is negotiation and the placement for order. After planning and schedule, the procurement team will negotiate the purchase of the raw material with the selected suppliers. The fourth step is receipt and inspection of materials. When the supplier delivers the purchase item, the receiving team and Aroma Alchemy will verify that the delivered item meets the requirement listed in the purchase order or not. The last step of procurement process is payment to the suppliers. Aroma Alchemy starts the payment procedure in accordance with the pre-arranged contract terms after the materials have been successfully inspected and accepted. My name is Liao Hui, number metric 27X094. Now I will present about inventory management. At Aroma Alchemy, our inventory management is a symphony of efficiency and excellence. Here is our playbook. First, at once tracking system for real-time stock updates, meticulous ordering ensuring quality and supply alignment, categorizing inventory for easy access and preservation, batch tracking and default system to avoid expiration, maintaining safety stock prevents shortage, prioritizing environmental storage ensures fragrance quality, and the last one is stringent quality controls ensures top-notch products. Logistic and delivery, we have two delivery process which are raw materials and shipping products. For raw material, first is our transportation planning, warehousing, packaging, shipping and tracking, custom clearance and documentation, delivery and receipt, quality assurance and inspection, and the final step is inventory management. However, for the shipping product, we check the shipping and trade guidelines, select shipment methods, choose a carrier, find a custom broker, collect information from customer, prepare the shipment and transfer the order to carrier, and last, we follow up the shipment status. Packing audience and segmentation. In the beauty retail industry, we partner with Watson's and Sephora, expanding our reach to a diverse clientele seeking premium fragrance. Next, for beauty and personal care businesses, our tailored sense and rich sensory experience in spas and salons, catering to client preference with custom packaging and diverse fragrance options, enhancing service quality. Next, the hospitality and luxury sectors rely on us for signature scents, creating unforgettable impression in hotels, resorts, and high-end accommodations. Last, corporate gifting and promotion involve procuring fragrance in bulk for gifting, incentives, giveaways, and strategic marketing purposes. Marketing channels. Social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook allow us to showcase expertise, share new fragrance insights, and communicate high standards in perfume quality and manufacturing. SEO, driving brand visibility by optimizing search engine rankings for perfume-related queries, attracting organic traffic, seeking information on fragrance and industry trends. Next, users email marketing enable us to engage fragrance industry partners with tailored contents, such as product reviews, fostering efficient communication for partnership building and collaboration. Promotion and advertising methods. We employ diverse display advertising formats, including banner ads, showcasing niche fragrance strategically placed to attract B2B stakeholders and enhance product promotion. Next, we also provide online discount codes for bar orders, collaborations, and limited time offers, foster increased engagement within the fragrance industry. Besides, participating in industry events and sponsorships allow us to showcase our perfumes, foster industry connections, and this demonstrate expertise, ultimately enhancing brand credibility and market reach.
for pricing strategy, we're employing cost plus pricing method, calculate the cost of production and add a 50% markup, ensuring fairness and profitability. Our selling price for each unit of perfume stands at 136 ringgit and 50 cents, ensuring consistency and reliability in our pricing approach. Moreover, by utilizing bundle pricing to offer tailored perfume collections to B2B clients, encouraging larger orders and enhancing customer satisfaction through customizable package. Payment methods and processing. Alibaba.com provides designated payment method including direct online payments through their platform, debit or credit card, e-checking and telegraphic transfer. Buyers from Brazil have the option to utilize Boleto as a payment method while the pay later method is exclusively available for select buyers from the US. For a custom sales and revenue projections, according to the data presented, Aroma Alchemy is projected to sell 6,850 units of perfumes yielding an expected revenue of 935025 ringgit Malaysia in 2024. That's all from my part. Now I pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Bi Fong presenting Aroma Alchemy's Customer Acquisition Strategies. Firstly, we prioritize our online presence by developing a comprehensive business website to bolster our reliability. Our site has uniform design, SEO optimization, CTS guiding to our products on Alibaba, and SSL for security measures. Secondly, we offer customizable private labeling services. This enables B2B clients like cosmetic companies or luxury hotels to incorporate their branded features into our products. Lastly, we actively engage in trade shows, leveraging these events to showcase our distinctive offerings, engage with potential clients, and direct them to explore our product range on Alibaba. A company's unique value proposition is the basic for developing its marketing efforts. Aroma Alchemy's unique value proposition centers on three key elements. Unique sense profiles developed through R&D, personalized services like custom packaging, and a commitment to sustainability using eco-friendly practices and materials. This form the basic for our product focus, customer-centric, and green marketing strategies attracting clients seeking distinct fragrances, tailored experiences, and environmentally conscious solutions. Aroma Alchemy maintains customer relationships through proactive communication and engagement via customers' prefer channels, leveraging consistent touch points like readings, follow-ups, and surveys to foster lasting loyalty and enhance brand impressions. Besides, Aroma Alchemy introduced a B2B loyalty program with point systems and rebates to incentivize repeat purchases. In this program, we also offer loyal customers educational resources to help them stay informed on market trends and best practices. Additionally, we ensure a smooth delivery process by providing accurate time estimates beforehand, communicating potential delays on the delivery day, and following up post-delivery for customer feedback. Aroma Alchemy's customer retention strategies can foster loyalty and repeat business, ensuring a steady stream of revenue. Loyal customers typically spend more per transaction and are more cost-effective to maintain than acquiring new customers. Their loyalty enhances our brand's reputation and competitive advantage over competitors in the market. Here are some examples of successful customer retention initiatives. Sweetfish Media achieved a significant reduction in money churn from 15% to 3% within a year by implementing goal-oriented churn reduction tactics and conducting quarterly podcast reviews. Icon achieved a remarkable 98.8% customer retention rate through its customer-centric approach, conducting twice yearly relationship surveys, implementing 90-day action plans to address issues, and evolving customers in the resolution process. Zoom Info achieved an outstanding 98.5% retention rate by strategically integrating education initiatives throughout the customer life cycle. They address engagement dips by introducing targeted interventions at pivotal stages, such as providing diverse training formats and shifting in-person sections closer to renewal periods for more informed discussions. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. My name is Tan Hui Min and my matching number is 287606. Now, I will continue to present the part of risk analysis and mitigation. First, we need to identify the potential risks. There are many chemicals used in the production of perfume and some of these chemicals can be harmful. This chemical can cause a variety of health problems including skin and respiratory irritation, allergies and reproductive problems. Next, 
perfume industry is a highly competitive market. It can be difficult for new business to turn a profit and stand out from the competition. Besides that, traditional perfume bottles and packaging are often used non-recyclable materials that detach in landfills, where it takes hundreds or even thousands of years to decompose. This can lead to air and water pollution as well as harmful to wildlife. So, to overcome the chemical exposure issue, we use Audi perfume or known as perfume water as our main perfume product. Audi perfume aroma blends contain 50% to 20% essential oil. It's not only mainly diverse from essential oil, but also is friendly to skin and has various use where it avoids the uncomfortable reaction of sensitive muscle to alcohol. As for competition risk, the way to overcome is to strengthen the brand, branding and marketing. Our perfume is unisex fragile, which is not limited to men and women. Unisex fragile stress the perfect balance between men's and women's scents that are different from the traditional perfume. In addition to this, the environmental impact of using non-recyclable bottles and packaging can be addressed by choosing recyclable materials for the appearance of the fragiles. We use an EO Infinite glass which is 100% recyclable and use a 90% recyclable material for Mueller to produce clear fit glass. Next, we move to implementation plan. We divide the implementation plan into three sections. The first one, timeline and milestone. The second one, resource allocation and management. And the third one, monitoring and evaluation. Within the first one to three months, we will conduct concept development. Once a general concept has been developed, it's important to conduct market research to ensure that there is a demand for the perfume. At the same time, we conduct research on our competitors' product to identify product gaps and opportunities. After concept development is complete, we move on to pro perfume development. This is the hardest part and usually takes 4 to 9 months. The first step in perfume development is fragile creation. When a promising perfume is credited, it's tested on a limited group of people to get their opinions. Once we were satisfied with the sense, we started working on the packaging design. In the final step, launching and marketing the product are steps that are ongoing from time to time. Here, we focus on the identified target market where we publish our perfume in Alibaba. Next, we move to the second one, which is resource allocation and management. The allocation of resources for perfume production can be divided into three main stages, which are ingredient shorting, production, and packaging. In terms of ingredient shorting, this involves identifying and shorting the right fragile ingredients. For the production part, it involves missing blending and bottling the ingredients. Besides that, the management of perfume production resources involve inventory management, production planning, and quality control. Inventory management involves monitoring product quantities and raw material inventory. In addition, scheduling the production of perfume to meet the demand. To successfully produce a perfume, we must properly manage our supply chain and allocate resources carefully. Beside that, the third one, monitoring and evaluation. For the monitoring and evaluation, we need to gather feedback and reviews from our customer. Once we collect data from them, we analyze the collected data using appropriate technique to identify patterns, trends, and relationships. Afterwards, prepare a comprehensive report summarizing the findings, conclusion, and recommendation, and share the result with stakeholders and decision makers. Once problems are identified, we can implement alternatives to improve program implementation and re reallocate resources. Lastly, future growth and expansion opportunities of perfume business is projected to grow and expand significantly in the upcoming years. According to an analysis by Satista, global e-commerce sales of beauty and personal care products are projected to reach 95 billion by 2025. Additionally, Technology advancement in perfume industry can stimulate market expansions. When technologies like augmented reality and artificial intelligence are integrated into the fragile industry, offer innovative opportunities. Perfume companies can leverage AR and VR to improve the customer experience by providing personalized fragile recommendation and visual sense stats. 
Last but not least, opportunities for expansion can expand into commercial sector in the future, such as hospitality and tourism, wellness and spa, event and experience marketing. In conclusion, perfume companies can reach new customer segments, transform their product offering, and deliver creative and engaging brand experience by venturing into this interconnected industry.